Um, first of all, thank you for joining me. It's been a little bit. April was uh, pretty April-ish and the weather was pretty crappy the whole time. It was pretty much just rain and 30 degrees the entire month of April. It was pretty miserable. So not much got done around here, but it seems like the weather's finally breaking. We've had about a week now of 60, 70 degree weather. We're supposed to hit 80 this upcoming week. So we're going full tilt here on the homestead trying to get some of these projects done. As you can see, the chicken coop is built. I'll show you guys a video of that right now. chicken coop was built out of all repurposed lumber. I went to a local snowmobile dealer and picked up some of these big crates that they ship the snowmobiles in. I deconstructed those and constructed this beauty. When I first started, I had planned on only eight chickens. As any chicken owner knows, it doesn't end up that way. Things escalated pretty quickly. Now I have 15 chickens. So, the coop that I made originally for the eight chickens is no longer big enough, in my opinion, is no longer big enough for 15 chickens. Now, they all go in there at night, They're, they do fine, they all get along. So that's kind of why I stopped where I'm at with the coop. I didn't want to put any of the siding on or do anything else until I get it into its final spot. As you could see, when I was building it, there was still probably six inches of solid ice on the driveway here. My plan is to build some skids on the bottom, hook this thing up with a tractor, and drag it to its permanent home in the back. You can see I have all of my milled lumber over here off to the side. That's all going to go back there with it. And we're going to make a permanent chicken, home, permanent chicken coop and run back there close by the garden. Let's take a walk into the back and I'll show you what's been going on there. If you go back a few videos, when I was talking about my plans for the homestead around here, I had talked about cutting down all the trees where the house is, obviously. Um, but then I had also mentioned that I was going to be cutting some trees down for where the garden was going to go. About two weeks ago, I came back here to where the garden's gonna go and I cut down all of the big trees that were back here. So unfortunately when I was back here cutting all of this down, I learned the hard lesson that to make a GoPro actually record what you're doing, 
you have to push the record button. So pro tip for all you guys out there, um, if you're recording something, make sure you're actually recording it. cleared probably oh if I were to guess it's maybe 100 feet by 75 feet maybe 100 feet by 100 feet um, most of these were little maples there are a couple cherry trees there's this huge quaking aspen back here um, a lot of the maples were they're pretty small so a lot of that's just gonna get used for firewood the cherries, unfortunately, were basically completely rotten all the way through up the center. Um, some of that will get used for firewood. Some of that's going to get used in the garden. I also rented a chipper the weekend that I cut down all of the trees and chipped up all of the brush. So that way I have plenty of wood chips for the chicken coop, but also in the garden. Um, I plan to do... Set this coffee down. I plan to do... I'm probably gonna pronounce this wrong. Hugo culture. And it's basically you take sticks, green material, some dead material, you layer that with some dirt and some compost, and you basically plant on that, and then it all the thought is is that it all decomposes down and eventually all turns into soil. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm going to do raised beds with kind of a Hugo culture technique mixed in there because I have a lot of this stuff that I need to get rid of and what better way than to just let it naturally turn into compost for the garden. And we'll talk about that in a minute. This big quaking aspen, this thing is pretty big. I would say at the bottom it's probably 16, 17 inches in diameter. Um, these tend to rot from the bottom up, it seems like. So there is a little bit of rot in the bottom of that log, but you can kind of see how it cones down as it goes into the log. I'm hoping that three, four feet up into that, it's usable wood and it's not rotten. So we'll have to see. My plan is today to get back here and cut up the rest of the firewood, get that moved, get the logs that I'm saving to mill set aside and clear an area because right back here is where the chicken coop and the chicken run is going to go. I want it to be close to the garden. That way I can give the chickens any sort of, you know, scrap from the garden. And then I can also use their bedding 
for the compost in the garden and it's nice and close. That way I don't have to move everything all over the place. That's my plan today. Well, we got the chainsaw sharpened up. We got it gassed up, oiled up, and I'm gonna make some chips fly. The faster I can get all this wood out of here, the faster I can get the chicken coop back here, which means I can actually start the garden. So it's kind of a, one thing has to happen for another, so we're just gonna get to it. You guys, don't worry. I'll do all the hard work. You just sit back and watch, okay? I started cutting up this cherry here and it looks pretty solid up here and it looks like the rat is getting smaller as I go start cutting off 16 inch chunks as I go down hopefully I might be able to get a decent log out of there otherwise it's just all gonna end up being firewood so get back at it what's up bud Alright guys, so I just got a call from a guy nearby that he had a whole bunch of red pine logs already cut down, ready to go, sitting in a pile. These are from last year. We're getting a load of free logs here, but get back in the truck. Yeah. 
I'm gonna get these straps undone, fire up the tractor, and we're gonna get this thing unloaded.
one more thing I want to show you guys that is huge, 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 huge for the homestead. Super excited about this. It's something that I've been focusing my energy on a lot lately. And I'm about to show you right now what it is. We got a sawmill, baby. Um, I was cruising Facebook one night and I found a gentleman a couple hours away who was selling this uh, Harbor Freight sawmill for a ridiculously low price. I immediately messaged the guy and we set up a time to meet and I went and picked this thing up. We're currently waiting on blades. They are back ordered a few weeks so they should be here I think in the next week or two. Let's take a walk into the back and I'll show you what's going it 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 